In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up an AI chatbot in your website within a few minutes. So for this video, I'm going to be using this website where I have installed a customer, an AI customer care chatbot into this website, which can actually answer any question when it comes to this website. So whenever a lead comes in or whenever a visitor comes in and if they have, have any questions regarding this website, regarding this business, they can ask these questions right away and the bot will the chatbot will be able to answer each and every one of them easily All right so as you guys can see this is a personal training website leading edge personal trainers and this is based on new york and uh this website contains a uh, decent decent amount of information and this website also has a uh, lots of sublinks like testimonials services personal training so what i've done is basically i've gone through each and every link i've copied the data and then I've uh, used this as a knowledge base for my chatbot. So my chatbot can answer th these questions based on this information that I've been provided on the website. Let me just show you how this works. So I'm gonna click over on this icon, chat icon over here on the right side. And I can see, let me just start a new chat so that I can show you from the beginning how this actually works. So start new chat. All right, so it has just greeted me greetings. I'm your chatbot guide for everything what can i do to assist you on your health journey okay so as you can see there is a lot of list of questions also so such as what services do you offer these are basically the faq questions that i've set up so these are very common questions so a lot of people ask these questions frequently so in that case they can just simply click these questions and they can get the answer instantly so let me just click over here what services do you offer okay we got the answer we offer personal training nutrition coaching nice let's just ask it another question such as what is the price of your services what is the price let me just ask this <clears throat> okay so we got the answer our price instructor varies depending on how often you train per week it's 130 to 150 dollars per session and our virtual sessions range in cost from 80 to 100 dollars okay so we got the answer so let's just to double check it if this just to see if this answer is actually correct or not if the information is legit or not let's just find this info from this website all right okay so over here as you can see what are the prices for different forms of training programs our in-person sessions range in cost from 130 150 boom there we go so we got the answer it's just like it's explained over here all right so whenever a lead comes in whenever a visitor comes in instead of if they have a specific question such as what are the services you guys offer or what are the pricing of your services instead of going through the entire website they can just ask the chatbot the question and the chatbot would give it the answer directly and that's going to save them a lot of time and also improve lead qualification drastically right let's just ask it one last question uh, can I get your email? Okay, we got the email also. And as you guys can see, it's quite, pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie. It just takes uh, two to three seconds of time just, just, just to respond each and every question. So that's pretty quick. Okay, so that's it now this head over let's head over to how we can start building this chatbot so for this video i'm going to be using voiceflow and for those of you who do not know what voiceflow is voiceflow is basically a software which you can use to create powerful and extremely functional ai agents all right so uh you guys want to head over to www.voiceflow.com and then sign up using a voiceflow account and then when you've created a voiceflow account you can uh, head over to new agent over here when you see this dashboard and then click uh, just give it a name I'm gonna give it demo bot chatbot I'm gonna click on modality chat then I'm gonna uh, English all right nice now let's hit continue create agent
Okay, so whenever you create a new agent on voice flow, you're gonna see this uh, template, all the, the same thing, this template, this exact template. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna have to get rid of this. And I'm gonna just get rid of all these things. Let's get rid of this, nice. You don't actually need this template unless you're using voice flow for the very first time and you don't actually know what the hell is going on, right? So, okay, we're gonna start from here. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of functions on voice flow, talk, listen, logic. We're not gonna be using this very complex ones like logic, dev, library, APIs, any of that. We're just gonna be building a very basic AI chatbot just like this one. And I'm just gonna set this off in five minutes. Let's drag this text over here. I'm gonna connect this. And then I'm gonna write something like, hi there, how can I help you? How can I help you? Nice, we got the first step done. Now let's head over to listen and capture. Okay, so now let me explain what's gonna happen. So whenever someone hops into your chat, but for the first time, they're gonna get this message. How, they, how can I help you? And then whenever they get this message, we're gonna be expecting a response from the user, right? So whenever the user gives a response, we're gonna capture this response into a variable named last utterance. We're gonna capture this response over in this variable. And then we're gonna drag this step into another step, which will be an AI step, all right? Response AI. So as you guys can see, there's two options when it comes to response AI. One can be AI model, another can be knowledge base. For, for this example, for this chatbot, we're, we're gonna have to use the knowledge base because it's just like I explained, we will be using the information provided in the website so that the chatbot can use those information to give out the answers, right? We're gonna train the chatbot based on the information provided on the website. So what we're gonna do is basically, we're gonna have to head over to each of these links we're gonna have to copy this. This is a local uh, website that I've just hosted by just copying the code from the original website. So it, it's not the original one, but if you can see it, like you're gonna have to click and go through all of those links and copy all of them. It's the Vanilla Services Personal Training. Go through all of these websites, copy all of the links from over here, and then we're gonna have to paste them. Now I've already copied all of those links. This is just all copied out here. I'm just gonna copy them. And then I'm gonna paste this in my knowledge base. Oh, and uh, I just forgot to explain what a knowledge base is. A knowledge base is basically the brain of the chatbot. It provides, it includes the information, the main information which the ch the chatbot, the LLM is going to use to give out the answer, right? So let's just hit back. Then we're gonna click on knowledge, and this is where we can add our knowledge base. So we, if we if we click on add data source. We can see there's a lot of ways we can add our knowledge base. So it can be a URL, an upload file, for example, it can be a doc file, TXT or a PDF file or plain text. So as we've just copied URLs, we're gonna be using the URL function, URL. Now we're gonna paste all the links over here. Now we're gonna click on import. All right, now the links will be uploaded within a minute. Now let's head over to settings. Okay, so this part contains some very important information and uh, this is the main prompt. This is the main system prompt which your chatbot is going to use to behave accordingly. So as this is, a, is, this is gonna be a very simple chatbot, this prompt will do just fine. We don't have to change it at all. But if you're building an advanced chatbot that can, that has, that needs some complex, func complex functions or instructions like then it, in that case, we have to modify this a lot. We have to be more specific with our instructions and the information we provide, all right? So for this example, let's just keep it that way. And what is a temperature? Temperature is basically, uh, if we increase this temperature to the right, the chatbot is going to, the possibility of giving out more random answers by the chatbot is going to increase. So if you've ever used ChatGPT, you might see that it gives out random answers just right out of the blue. And so if we decrease this bar, it's going to stop giving out more random answers and it's going to be more focused with its answers, with the information we've provided. I hope that it makes sense. And then max tokens, basically the usage cost of using the AI models and chunk limit is 
uh, whenever we ask some information from the chatbot it is divided firstly into chunks like pieces of chunks and then when the and then it collects the most relevant information from each of these chunks and then it gives out to the user i know it's a, it may sound a bit complex right now if you're a beginner but you can just go through some youtube videos and you'll understand what what i'm saying all right so we're going to use this model gpt 3.5 and as i'm using the free version of voice flow i can only access the free version uh, like i mean the gpt 3.5 i cannot access gpt 4.0 but yeah these are really powerful and these are really helpful if you're building an advanced chatbot right well, let's just hit on save okay so we've saved it up all right so as you guys can see all the links have been uploaded and now the knowledge base is good to go now let's head over to workflow let's click home and then uh let's just move on with the ai step so we're gonna click over here and then as you guys can see there's a question written over here question uh, we're gonna have to click on the third bracket and then drag the last returns here why because the last response from the user it was captured on this variable which is last returns right so we're gonna have to put out this variable over here so that the ai can analyze the question that was asked by the user oh that makes sense so we're gonna give it an instruction such as uh keep your answers concise and friendly uh, concise and friendly all right nice it's all set up okay so you guys, you guys can also did see there's a not found step so this is basically an error handling scenario so if a user asks a question such as how to how can i cook an egg to this chatbot then it doesn't know how to give the answer right because in the knowledge base i haven't added like how do i cook a fucking egg over there right so in that case it's gonna uh respond like this uh, it's gonna respond it's gonna take this step to respond the answer and i'm gonna set, set it up and it's actually important that we set up these steps so that it makes sure that the chatbot doesn't break down in, in these types of scenarios all right so let's just write sorry I couldn't process the info. Let's try again. Okay, we got this set up. Now we're gonna connect this back to last utterance over here, and I'm gonna explain you why just in a minute. We're gonna also have to connect this over here. Let's just name it response AI. Uh, response just for our own convenience. All right, now it's good to go. We have our flow set up, and as I've just said a moment ago, that it's, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that this tutorial is as beginner friendly as possible. I'm gonna end this uh, chat flow over here. All right, and this is basically all we need just to build a basic functional chatbot for our website. So I've just included the knowledge base and I've provided all the info. So whenever someone starts asking questions, it's going to give out the answers accordingly. Let's just run this up and show, show you guys how this works. So just run this test. And then you guys can see it over here on the blue. It's going to be a uh, blue mark right, right, just like this. And you guys can see how this is actually working. So let's just ask it, where are you guys located? Where are you guys located? Okay, we got the answer. We got this location. Let's just ask what services uh, do you offer? Okay, and uh, let's ask it another question. Uh, do you offer packages or discounts? Let's see how it responds. Okay, we got the answer. 
So if you guys are wondering where is this actually tracking this answer from, if you click on this small brain icon, which is the knowledge base. So if you click on this small icon, you can see this was this response was generated by AI using the knowledge base, and and you can see that there are also links provided, so we can use this uh so it's it means that the chatbot used these links to drag out this information over here all right so basically this is it and this is actually how the chat flow looks like and this is all we need for this and if you we can also build a lot of custom functions such as uh, we can set up appointments and setting system so the users the leads they can actually book appointments from within your chatbot they can also submit forms and do a lot of things within your chatbot you can make it a lot more complex but as this is a basic video beginner friendly video i'm just going to end this over here but now i'm going to just show you one last thing how you can actually set this up on your website all right we're going to head over to publish and click on publish over here and then we're going to click on embed widget why because we have to embed this uh chatbot into our website we have to integrate this chatbot into our website right so for that to happen we have to copy this code this code will be provided by first flow and you just have to copy this code and then we have to paste this code on the uh bot just before the closing body deck of our website so if we ever head over to the html section of our website uh each section of our website you can see that there will be a closing body tag so we'll have to paste this code which we've just copied and then we have to paste this code just before the closing body tag and once we refresh the website or the code and then we can see and the chatbot will be implemented just like it. we'll see an icon like this in our website and we can uh use this chatbot so you can also customize our chatbot, for example, the launcher, agent image, avatar, upload. You can actually customize this the way you want. And you can also give it a name, the description, all of that if you want. And yeah, so basically this is it. And one last thing, you can also see the transcript, transcripts of your conversations. So that's actually pretty good. So to capture a transcript, you have to make sure that the conversation ends properly, right? So you have to... Uh, Make sure that there is an end that the user clicks on end chat just like this so that the conversation gets captured. Once the user clicks on end chat, the con the entire conversation will be captured and we can use this information and that's going to be very valuable for the business, right? Now, if you guys are still wondering uh, why do I need a chatbot for my business and what are the actual benefits of it, <coughs> then let me just go through this document as there is a lot of info, uh, benefits for this actually it's basically a 24 7 lead engagement bot it's always available it gives out immediate responses so instead of going to the entire website which most people don't like to do honestly they just uh, go through the website and just uh, stay out there for 10 or 12 seconds max and then they just hit out if they don't find the information right so if they have a customer care chat bot sitting right there and that can answer information instantly and that's really helpful that'll actually spike your conversion rates right it improves their user experience efficient lead qualification seamless appointment booking just like i said you can set up an appointment booking bot over there that's going to actually let your customers book appointments within your chatbot and that's going to streamline the processes it's going to reduce friction right enhance data collection so we can use the transcripts we can uh, go through the conversations and uh, uh, analyze what the visitors are actually wanting uh, from our website, what they're actually asking from us for the business, from our business, right? So we can use this data to improve our business in various aspects. And uh, yeah, this is basically it. And uh, this was my very first YouTube video. So I tried my best over here. If you guys have any questions, then feel free to leave it down in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, th this is it for today. I'll be creating another tutorial where I'll be going through the uh, how to build an advanced chatbot using voice flow. So stay tuned for that one. All right. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. See ya.